My name is Holly Gagnon. I am the president and CEO of Pearl River Resort, which is a casino operated by the Mississippi Band of Choctaws. I actually started in gaming in 1992 at the opening of Foxwoods Resort in Connecticut as their head of internal audit. And um, I had various financial positions with Foxwoods, but prior to coming into gaming at all, I um, was an accounting major and worked in public accounting and I'm a CPA. Uh, I held various financial and IT positions and was recruited by Harrah's in 2000 to join them in Kansas City. And I spent the next six years with Harrah's uh, in various locations uh, in Louisiana and also in Tunica, Mississippi and was also a divisional vice president for them. I then joined MJ Mirage for two years and after that taught for two years at the University of Massachusetts and rejoined Harrah's um, before I took this current position. So it's been a, a real journey, a lot of moving, um, and I've never worked in Las Vegas, which is, uh, for 22 years in gaming, kind of a unique uh, thing to say. I would say uh, my style is to be very collaborative, generally. I, um, you know, I'm a, a pretty, directive person, very straightforward, but I um, am also very engaging. Um, I really do want to have the ideas of the team create a better answer. Um, I really have a great eye for talent, and I like to be surrounded by really uh, bright, energetic people with very unique, independent ideas, because I think that that's how you get the best solutions. You know, I think we compete effectively because we consider ourselves a gaming property just like all the other commercial casinos. So while our ownership structure may be different and slight differences in taxation, uh, we really do apply the same principles that a commercial casino would as far as being competitive, focusing on customer service, uh, making sure we've got the right product for our customers. So. You know, we have been very effective in, in competing. I think our location is certainly uh, advantageous to us and also our amenities. We actually have um, two golf courses and they are ranked um, in the top 100 to play in the United States. So they're um, very great, beautiful golf courses um, surrounded with a lot of wildlife, so it's a, it's a very great experience. We also have a water park that operates from May through the end of August, which is um, a, a really nice appeal for families and kind of diversifies our customer base in the summer periods. We also, um, we have, a, you know, some retail, we have a, a wonderful gourmet restaurant and other restaurants that support the facility. But um, I think really just the fact that there are those other amenities um, does differentiate ourselves in Mississippi where, you know, they, the other casinos are not complete packages in the very contiguous nature that we have. You know, that's a good question. I think um, in, we've seen so much growth, and growth is good and growth is also challenging. Um, I do believe that a lot of casinos were successful based on limited licenses or limited competition. So we've seen a lot of pressure on our feeder markets in, in various locations. When I think of gaming, you know, you think of Atlantic City and what they're going through. And so we're oversupplied in some markets given that new supply has been introduced in the feeder market. So I think that that's always challenging to see retraction um, I don't think it's overall retraction in the business, but certain markets are retracting. So I think, um, you know, we are always charged with, with making sure that we offer a compelling product to our customers. And in the, the way the economy has rolled out, I think maybe some people have held back in, in capital investment and reinvesting in the properties. Um, but I do think that we have to continue 
to make sure our customers are interested in what we are providing and we can't take them for granted. And, you know, that's uh, part of the deal. Mm -hmm.